love you, dude. I love yeah. you, really. I do. Um, manure. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a crap talk. <laughs> yes. Keep it PG rated. Yep. So I am. I'm looking at spreading manure. A lot of guys like talking. We're going to manure. Heart crops are off, coming off. Uh, guys are looking at spreading manure applications, fall fertilizer, etc. Logistically, the closest manure for me is 30 miles pin pack. Just scrape out. Yep. <clears throat> um, so if I'm going to spread, you know, 20, 30 tons of manure on my ground, my ground's never seen manure. So okay, um, uh, that's you know, I'm literally looking at one semi load per acre. Yep. The I, one trying to find someone that can haul it. Two, uh, finding someone to spread pin pack around yep. here is pretty tough. Yep. Um, and, and the, the money I'd spend in the freight would be insane. Well, and it comes down to, that's the, I mean, talking about manure, it's not like we've re- revealed something in a secret book. Right. <laughs> Manure's been around. Yeah. It's you the know. beginning of time. Yeah. It's almost so, kind of like it was God's plan of how to revitalize <laughs> soil, but we won't go there. Yeah, of course not. Let's not no. go down that yeah, trail. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, but one thing, it's always a logistical barrier of getting that manure. Yep. You know, and um, one thing that we've talked about like this last summer, you know, if, if somebody had composted, because that composted, you're able to do a lot less tons because it's more concentrated per se. Yeah. Um, so when you do a truckload, that truckload's going to be doing seven acres instead of eight acre. Okay. So then that freight starts lowering down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're spreading your cost out per acre. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, so I found a manure source, a compost manure source. Um, Next, I got to call the guy, get pricing, get a sample and get a sample. And then, so what with, with compost, dude, what am I looking for? Because it's supposed to be more broke down than pen pack, supposed to be quote hotter. Um, Where do I start with compost? Well, and it goes, the world of composting is, there's a lot of ways to compost. And with all these different methods, different things release different things a concentrate uh, how much carbon did you add to it how much did you not add to it um so that's why my first step no matter if it's raw manure or composted manure get a sample okay okay because i've seen raw manure be low as six pounds per ton foss and i've seen raw manure be up to 25 just based on how, what they're feeding what, what was the background of that feedlot Oh, sure. Okay. Were they difference. on a grow ration or were they on a finish ration? I mean, all, all those aspects change. Okay. Um, so first thing, get a sample. The reason why I like composted is usually your salt index decreases. Okay. Okay. Because that's probably the biggest fear with manure is if you get too high on the salt index or apply too much, I mean, you'll see negative effects from over applying the manure. Okay. I mean, if logistics didn't matter and everything was free, I would apply, you know, three to four tons, you know, raw or slightly composted every year. Got it. You know, that's what I would do. Yeah, if it was as easy as loading a dry rig with potash. Or if you could snap your finger and just, it's done, right? Um, That would be my ideal situation. But usually guys are doing, you know, 25, 30 tons every, you know, five days, seven years based on where they started at. Okay. Um, And that is for... Um, I don't want to say it's not raw, raw, but it's been, it's been piled up for a little bit. Um, gosh, I've read a lot of books on composting. You can get as labor intensive as you want to, or, you know, I read an old book that said his best luck was just piling it for six to eight months. And that composted enough to get what they want out of it. It dries down, breaks down, dries, dries, breaks down yeah. into that more yeah. finer. Well, and it, it's that transition of the carbon that is in that manure um, tying up with the quote unquote salts. So you're now you're getting a uh, organic form of FOS, organic form of N. I see. Okay. I mean, it, it's almost like replicating to a point of what like a dry humic would do with a dry blend. Yes. Right? So very similar concepts, but that composted manure, why I like it, number one for logistics, number two um, is because that process is done for the most part. Um, One thing to be aware of, at least up in my neck of the woods, we have people uh, actually putting in cement pins so they can get 
more of just pure manure, not taking dirt with it. Okay. So they're getting even higher numbers. But um, those nitrogen numbers, I mean, one sample I got quoted, it was like a 30, 40, 50 per ton. Whoa. That's that's it's good shit. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's exactly know? what it um, is. So with that, though, is what's nice is in that composted form, that nitrogen is more in an organic form or more tied to carbons. So the chances of gassing off are less, but it can still happen. So, yeah. So you could, you could more factor that nitrogen into your fertility program for your crop. Not as like, this is... It's not a one for one. It's not a one what I get. Right. What I'm but it's to say. like, okay, we should probably account if the, you know, we should probably account for this a little a little more so than other manure act applications. Well, and it just matters what what situations occur after you apply. And, yeah. and what I mean by that is if you get it applied and then snow gets put on top of it, beautiful. Okay. Okay, because that, that snow is going to help kind of lock it in so we can't keep gassing off. I mean, if we have a winter, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, we had a little bit of warmer winter with no snow, you're not going to be able to count a lot of that. Got it. Um Rule of thumb, no scientific approach, just a rule of thumb is I try to, keep, I count half. Okay. If I'm not incorporating it. So now, if you go and incorporate it, question. if you go and incorporate it, I would make an argument you can count all of it. But just be careful in the sense of that, I mean, it's just like fall applying nitrogen anyway. That nitrogen can convert to nitrate. And if that plant's nitrate dominant, you can start having issues when it comes to bugs, comes to fungicides. So when you make applications in season, we we'll stick to the positive form of N. Okay. Not the, not just keep throwing out more nitrate to it. Got it. Just keep it in balance, right? Sure. So um, what uh, do you think that compost, if I'm, so we're going to got, we got the cabin field. That's one of the ones on my list, spread compost manure on. Um, do you think incorporating manure or compost is worth it do you think it makes a difference in my mind I guys if you like the information that you've seen so far go ahead and check out the full length podcast on our youtube channel be sure to subscribe there it's also on all the major plat- podcast platforms um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms tiktok instagram facebook etc check it out for a lot more content